Hey guys, welcome back to Car Systems Installation Channel. We're gonna show you the GNET Gion truck camera. So GNET G on T. Uh, this one has the truck camera with a 20 meter cable. The rear camera is installed. This is a moving truck. We have the rear camera on the left side. The one on the right side is a reverse camera. And in the front we have the Gion dash cam flash mounted on the windshield. We'll go inside and show you the system. So we actually have it hidden nice and clean here behind our uh, rear view mirror screen. Rear view camera screen. You can see here flat mount nice and clean. Yeah, we're gonna connect to the camera. So first we're gonna go to our Wi-Fi settings. Okay, in the Wi-Fi setting we can see the camera GNET BB G on and this is the model. So we're gonna put the password. The initial password is standard. You can always change that. Okay, we'll connect to the camera. Now on the camera itself, go to the app, keep Wi-Fi connection, and then go to the app. We're gonna press on the camera, there's the Wi-Fi button. We're gonna press it once. Standby mode for the registration. As you can hear, standby mode for the registration. So we can see here the camera is visible. We're gonna press connection. Complete the registration. Okay. User is connected. Now we're gonna show you, first of all, we're gonna go to the real-time video. So we can see here the front camera. And we have a few different things in here. We can see here the sign on the side. Very clean, very clear image. You can see a truck moving there. So right now the camera is actually in parking mode. Uh, we're gonna go back. We can go to the rear camera. So you can see the rear camera here. We have again, we can see, we set it up to see a bit of our uh, uh, step in here. So this is the door somebody comes in and records the back and we're gonna go into the home we're gonna go into the settings I'm gonna explain a little bit about the settings so the first setting is our camera settings we have here the resolution of the camera front camera and rear camera resolution brightness uh, frames per second event frame per second night vision for the rear camera same idea but the last one is the mirror so we can choose the camera to be flipped. The next one we have is the voltage management. So we have here the LBP, low battery protection. So we have it on and we set it up to the voltage that we want. We can set it up from 11.3 to 12.3. And if the vehicle is 24 volt, from 23.3 to 24.3. So we're gonna leave it at 12 in this case. Uh, we're gonna have the timer off timer basically if you set up a timer it will uh, whatever comes first so if the voltage goes down the camera will shut off but if the timer for example set up for 24 hours and even though if the voltage is still high if you have it up for 24 hours the camera will turn off after that setup time so whatever comes first it will take over high temperature shutdown so we're going to put that one on Basically, if the camera feels that the temperature is too high in the vehicle, it will shut down to protect the memory card and the camera. And some features that we don't see in the other cameras. The ADAS, this is a feature that allows you to use the lane departure warnings, front vehicle and front forward collision. You can play around with those settings in here the way you like it. You can set it up. The sound. So we have here the volume uh, level. So we can go basic, high and low. Next thing we have is the voice guidance. So voice guidance is everything that the camera tells you, parking mode turned on, turned on, uh, ready to record and user connected and stuff like that. Everything that the camera tells you by guidance, this is the turn on and off. Audio record is us uh, having a conversation. This is the audio record. And uh, we're gonna go to event. 
So the event, we can schedule for how long the event will be recording. So I'm going to put 30 seconds. Basically, that means that every event that creates will have a 30 seconds video footage. Parking on, yes. Event buzzer. Event buzzer, we will turn that off. Event buzzer, basically, every time there's an event created, it will beep. We don't like to have that on because the, the event can create it even from the bumps over the highway, over the road. So you're going to keep having beeping that bit of confusing. Impact recording is on. Motion detection is on. Sensitivity during parking mode. We can change the sensitivity. Uh, the sensitivity of impact. We can also change that sensitivity also. The time. So the time we set up right now, it's not it's not summertime. We're going to turn it off, but it's uh, actually we're going to have summertime next week. So we're going to leave it on for the customer just a week before. So that's going to be fine. So the customer won't have to remember that. And we're just going to remind him next time. Auto reboot. So auto reboot means at certain time of the day, the camera will shut off. Kind of like unplugging the power and make sure everything, if something got jammed, it will fix. So, auto reboot, we have it set up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, memory, so memory here, we have the override. Now we have the memory integrated. What does that mean, integrated? That means that the, uh, the, it means that the regular recording and the event are all integrated into one, uh, VD, one memory, so they can all loop together. But you can actually you can actually separate it to have split recording. You can say 50% of the memory card to be dedicated only for event, 70% will be dedicated for normal recording. When you're doing that, the event will only be replaced by event and normal will always be replaced by normal. Uh, so you can always use that, but you're taking away from some of your memory and sometimes events, you know, something that, like I said, the over a bump or something that happened uh, a month ago still will be remaining the events so the recommended is actually to have it integrated leave it as it was before in the integrated way uh, next thing we have is information that it will be the driver information if you want to put the car information model of the camera uh, dash camera nickname and the camera software LED security light, so we have the LED light on the front of the camera, we can have it on or off. And the last one is the G-Sync Cloud, which soon we're going to have another cloud version for that. That one allows you to put an SSID, if you turn it on, you're going to put an SSID and a password, that identical to the hotspot that you're using, and it will allow you to uh, see this uh, camera for pretty much anywhere, upload videos to the cloud and stuff like that. We're going to go back. We're not going to change the settings at the moment right now because we're going to show them back to the customer after. And also I want to show you some of the videos. So we're going to go to recorded video. Recorded video in here, we can see impact, parking, motion detection. We can see different type of videos. Uh, as you can see here, this uh, view more is actually not grayed out. So I'm going to show you something. If we go all the way back, and it seems like we only have videos from 9.51 in the morning. But no, we have way more videos as if you press view more, it will turn on more videos. On the computer, you will be able to see all of them in one shot. But if you're on the phone, you will have to press view more until the view more is grayed out. So I'm going to keep pressing the view more grayed out. And I'm going to show you something. So the view more now is grayed out. And we have here the camera. This is a 32 gigabyte memory card. Now. If you look at our videos, see 1041, 1038, 37, 36. So there's no stopping. Even during parking mode, there's no stopping. What a system does during parking mode, it's actually going to a lower bit rate. By doing so, you don't have any missing footage like other cameras that have to turn on and turn off and wake up and stuff like that. Uh, but you don't use a lot of uh, memory because it goes on a low bitrate. So this is 1040 and this is a 32 gigabyte memory card. This is 1040 in the morning and the memory card is still not full. We just installed this camera yesterday. 1040, and let's see how much we can go back. So this is from uh, eight o'clock in the evening last night. And again, the memory card is not even reached to his a quarter of its capacity. So on a 32 memory uh, gigabyte memory card, you get much more videos. One of the reasons the Geon camera records in H.265. Uh, all the other cameras in the market uh, records in H.264. 
and the H.264 gives you a better compression on memory. You can get much more videos. Now let's see, for example, this was in the evening, so let's uh, play. Uh, let's play at the parking, for example, in here. Let's see what we have. So we can see we were still working on the vehicle. So probably the camera was in the back here. We're gonna put it to a full view, and we can see. See, we can see, see the movement of the camera, so we're still moving the camera, still working on it. And we're gonna go to the real camera and see. Okay, so you can see our shop was still on, still uh, open. Let's go to, let's try to see a video at night. Now remember, our shop is completely dark. Uh, there's no light inside and nothing, so you don't, you can't expect the camera to see much. But let's see how the rear camera looks like, which has the infrared light. Let's take a look. Okay, uh, let's see, 10 o'clock at night, 10.22. So the front camera completely dark and the rear camera okay so here is the rear camera with the night vision okay uh, but we're gonna go back to the rear camera oh it goes back up oh, sorry because the videos I keep on finishing okay so you can see here we have the rear camera full night vision you can see everything if somebody comes here you can see them uh, you, down, you can download the video from here press the download and download the video to your phone and then have it everything there uh, if you want to see more of the videos, you can actually go on the on your computer, take the memory card and save it in there. So we can see here recording continuously comes and let's see when we arrived in the morning. So we arrived in here around... Okay, here we can see motion detection. So let's see the motion detection that is recorded. Okay, so probably was a motion in the front or when I came into the office. I can see the light in the office area is there. So it just kept on the motion. A camera. Goes back to parking. Okay, you can see here motion detection, one of our technician. And as you can see, it's a very, very wide camera. It's 160 degrees for the front. Very wide angle, very nice uh, dash cam. The Geon truck dash cam and the Geon standard dash cam is available at car system installation. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you next time. Have a great day.